guys, Ed Spitta here, back with another minifigure through the years uh, episode for you guys. Now, in this episode, I will be doing Kai from Lego Ninjago, all the way from Season 1, all the way to where we are at this time of this video. You can also see I also added in the Lego Ninjago Battles game a little character in there, because technically he is a microfig of Kai. So let's go ahead and get started. The first minifigure of Kai that was ever released was the original Kai in Season 1. You can see you have his logo on there as well as all red printing and some robe printing on there. Very nice. Whenever you take off his hood, you can see uh, his printing under here. All the face printings are going to be the same. They never change the ninja's uh, faces anytime, uh, except for Lloyd's. Nothing on the back, and uh, in Season 1 they had these that you can clip the weapons in the clip in the back, so no so sword holder yet. Now, I did put in, like I was just saying, I did put in the little micro figure from the uh, LEGO Ninjago Battles game that you can build and get for, I think it was twenty nine ninety nine. I know I got it, obviously, because I've got this little micro fig right here. Microfids are very, very cool. I particularly like Kai's here. It looks very, very nice. Lots of cool printing. And nothing on the back like all microfigures, uh, usually. Now, then whenever they got their dragons, they got their Dragon Extreme or DX suits. So here is Kai DX. You can see his very, very cool printing on there. That's in shiny gold, so it reflects the lights. So that's very cool. He's got the same hood piece and same printing of his face under there. He's got the same uh, black gloves. And just overall, very, very nice printing. Uh, one of my favorites, actually my favorite, the best, in my opinion, uh, ninja uh, uniform. You can see the Kai printed back there as well, so incorporating the symbol in there as well. So that is very cool. Now, in Season 2, as we go over you can see that they got their ZX uniforms. So here is Kai in his ZX uniform. You can see that now we have the gold and sold holder with the shoulder pads right here. Some very, very nice new printing on his torso and legs. Kai actually has one of the least amount of printing on his legs. He only has, out of all the ninja in the um, ZX forms, he has the least amount of printing on his legs with only this little slash going across um, his legs right there. But the thing about the Kai ZX figure that makes him look very, very cool is that he's got two different colors of red on him. You can see his arms are in actually a darker maroon sort of color. So that is very cool. Uh, definitely makes up for the hardly any printing on the legs. Now you can also see that they've got a new ninja wrapper cap on their s or hood so it does not come down anymore. Instead they have the armor and inside there you can see a symbol once again. And uh, yeah, like I was saying... In Season 2 and all the series, they have the exact same head printing, and here's just a little look at the mask. Very cool. ZX, probably one of my second, probably second, mm, maybe not, I don't know. The Energy Ninjas were very cool as well. But anyways, later on in the Serpentine series, they got their Kendo uniforms whenever they were trying to decide who was going to be the Green Ninja. Obviously, it was never one of the four ninjas. It was Lloyd. If you guys have not checked out my Lloyd through the years video, you guys can go check that out. There will be a link in the description. Very cool. You can see how Lloyd uh, progresses through the years of Ninjago. So here you can see all the ninjas in ke their kendo state have this exact same helmet and shoulder pads on there. And underneath is actually the exact same uh, printing as the first uniform over there. So I don't really have to show you guys on this. Well, I'll show you. Might as well, right? Underneath, there you go. Exact same printing, so that is pretty interesting right there. So, there you guys go. There you guys go. Now, obviously, I'm going to put this uh, put Kendo Kai back together here so you can go uh, sit with all of his other Kai friends over here. But then, uh, probably my second favorite, yeah, second favorite out of all the nin uniforms are the NRG Ninjas. Very, very cool. This is when the ninjas discover their true potential. Now, they all, um, are, all are different, have some different printing on them, but Kai is very, very cool. You can see that they do not have any uh, 
shoulder pads or sold sword holders. Uh, I like that because you can see his back printing right here, which is very, very cool, and that shiny gold color once again. And uh, yeah, I really like how this Kai minifigure turned out. Very nice and shiny, and you can actually see his logo right there, just kind of like flames coming off of it. It is very, very cool, as well as his headpiece up here. Now, this is the only exception that uh, Kai gets a different face, when really it is the exact same face with the scars and everything, just it's all red instead of yellow. So, uh, yeah, there is that. Very, very cool looking minifigure. Definitely one of my favorites. Now, next up, you have the Elements robe, or the Kimono uh, robe, that they did whenever they got in the um, Temple of Light. They ended up getting these whenever they got their elemental weapons. It is a very cool minifigure. Really liking the uh, detail on there and the black, the contrast of the black. The gold and the red looks very, very nice. I like how it matches with his uh, black hands or gloves that he has on. Looks very nice. They're back to the same ninja wrap that had that the ZX ninja had, with that gold little uh, plated star or something like that up there. Not really sure what that's supposed to be, but I've heard it's supposed to be some type of you know star or shuriken or something like that. Very nice printing on the back as well. Like I was saying, I really like the contrast of the. Um, different colors on him, especially these arms with this back. Looks very, very nice. And uh, yeah, lots of printing on the legs this time around, which is very cool because we don't usually get a lot on the legs lately. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the elemental uh, robes. Now, actually, we got to move this down. As we go down the line, we get to um, the rebooted stage. So this is Kai Rebooted. You can see that this is act these are probably one of my least favorite minifigures of Kai just because there's absolutely no really detail on him. The only thing I really like is that you get hit this new hair piece up here as well as this little fire printing that's right there. But other than that, I'm not a huge fan of this of the rebooted Kai minifigure. It's not very interesting at all really. Except that this is the first. This was the first year we got this new nin ninja mask. Everyone was super pumped about the hair. I knew it was pretty cool as well, but I pr particularly prefer the ninja wraps or headgear that they wear. Uh, it looks more like a ninja, and uh, I think it just looks much better because that's how they started. And uh, just my opinion, guys. In the comments, you can let me know what you guys think. You prefer hair or the helmet uh, slash ninja wrap that they end up wearing in season one to two so uh, yeah you can see that there's no printing on his legs which is very disappointing however he does have some on the back as I showed before and the same headpiece and everything so nothing really going on with this uh, minifigure nothing really special so that is kinda disappointing one more look at him and yeah go put him back now we're getting into the Tournament of Elements series, which is the newest series as of the time of this video. You have his Kai in his Tournament of Elements robe. Now, this is probably my second least second least favorite uh, coming back from the rebooted stage. Like I was saying, I don't know. The ones with the hair just do not look very good in my opinion. Um, the arms are kind of interesting that they're all uh, yellow. Um, nothing really going on that's super special up here. We've got the exact same hairpiece, head, and ninja wrap as the rebooted minifigure of Kai. I really would have liked to see some more printing on this guy, either some side leg printing or some printing on the arms, uh, just to make up for, I don't know, kind of copying the design that we had last year. Although it kind of does make sense because they're in the Tournament of Elements and these are just their, you know, robes that they wear as they walk around. So they need to be you know, um, warm, or not warm, excuse me, they need to be pretty cool because that island is very tropical looking that Chen is on, so that does make sense, I guess. Not really my favorite, however, though. You do have the Kai symbol on the back right there, which is very interesting. Almost every single one of these Kai minifigures uh, has that logo on it, or actually every single one, so that is pretty cool. I like how they continue to incorporate that into them because that is what they started out with. I like whenever Lego does that. You can see some printing here down on the legs. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this minifigure. 
Now the newest minifigure as of the time of this video is the Zulkin or Zuckin. I guess Z U K I N I believe. Something like that. But this is the newest. You see that we got a new sword holder on the back here. So that is pretty interesting. Personally, I like the sword hold we holder before because it comes with the shoulder pads. But obviously, they do want to change it up. Another flaw about this shoulder pad piece right here that I don't really care for is that it covers up a lot of the back printing more than the other shoulder pad. As well as whenever you put in the sword, it can come out very, very easily. Like, you can tip them upside down and shake them a little bit and it'll come out. So, a little disappointing, but once again, you have the ninja wrap up here, but we've got a different printing. This is like a Japanese symbol on there. If you guys know what that symbol means, you guys can comment it down in the comment section down below. I personally do not, obviously, because I cannot read Japanese. I can, I'm can. i assuming it says fire or kai or something like that, but I am not particularly sure. Now, the printing on this guy's torso and legs are one of the best printing uh, in my thoughts, you can see the little daggers in his torso as well as his um, logo in there. So that is very cool. Some sashes and belts and all that sort of stuff. All the stuff that you think a ninja would have. So this is very cool. One of my, uh, I don't know, I guess it, it's, just, it's an okay minifigure. Um, not one of my favorites, but it is, or at least it's not in my top three. However, it is still a pretty cool love the printing, probably one of the best printing of all the Kai minifigures. Just wanted to take off his head and uh, to show you his back printing right there, so you can actually see like a sword holder sort of printed on there already, so that is pretty interesting. Kind of interesting back printing, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, so that is pretty much it with this Kai minifigure, and uh, yeah. So, so far, these are the only Kai minifigures that have been released as of the time of this video. Now, there are lots more probably going to come. Hopefully, they don't continue to exaggerate the fact of the ninja, you know, making them look so different. I'd like them just to stick with the original, um, I mean, not, not exactly the original, but keep, keep the headgear, obviously. Keep some of this printing, like, not the exact same printing, but keep quite a bit of, keep, you know, quite a bit of different printing on them, and just don't change a lot of things. I personally think this back part right here just makes this minifigure look very bad. Um, I personally don't like the um, sword, sword holder or anything that goes on the back of minifigures because it makes their neck look very, very tall, and you can see the little brown part in there, which is very annoying, I say, I think. And it's very different from the ZX form that's over here because if I show you the shoulder pads actually make up for it, so it looks very much more complete than this one does. Um, so yeah, I'd like them to go back to that, or something like that, you know, change up, put some printing on these or something, that would be really cool. But uh, yes, that is pretty much it for all the Kai minifigures, or Kai through the years. This guy does not want to go back on, he's like, no, show me more, show me more, I'm so special, I'm the newest, but whatever. So. Anyways, that is it for this Kai Through the Years video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys uh, have enjoyed, please comment on this video which one is your favorite. Like this video, give it a rating. That would be highly appreciated. And check out the Lloyd Through the Years. Very cool to see him progress as well as Kai right here. All the way from Series 1 all the way to the uh, Zulkin or Tournament of Elements robes. Uh, these two over here from the series right now. So I'll keep you guys updated for whenever like the Ghost series comes out. The Shadow of uh, Ronin, I mean. Uh, there'll be some more Kai minifigures and everything in there. But wanted to get this out because as of right now, I have every single Kai minifigure that had been produced. So that is very, very cool. Hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm Edgy Spitta. Subscribe so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.